her son what do you do youtube it's your boy jay divine all right man so before we get to this video make sure you hit the like button comment subscribe share the word spread the links man y'all know how i do but okay so um with the man 20 finals had wrapped up like maybe a couple of days ago i think it's about four or five days ago or something like that um joke and decroft went at it joke won. i don't really know what the score was i just watched the highlights and i had to cut it off maybe midway through the video because <laughs> Yo, like, before I really get into what I'm about to say here, let me just say shout out to Joke and D Croft. Both of y'all did y'all thing. Shout out to Joke for winning it. Um, you know, you do what you had to do to get the dub. Ironically enough, your name pretty much uh describes Madden in one word. Joke. <laughs> but I'm not here to bash, man. But let's just, you know, start things off and say, you know, watching that game, it really showed me all the reasons why we make these rant videos why we make these breakdown videos because men has strayed so far away from a game that had to that had to get somebody to use their brain in order to beat somebody I grew up in a time where when you played Madden, I say Madden 2003 because that was the first Madden I bought for my, I got for my birthday. Madden 2003, my cousins used to beat me to smithereens. I don't you know if that's even a proper phrase, but they used to beat me every time that I would play because they knew football and they knew what defenses were being ran. They knew what hole to hit, the A gap, B gap, or C gap. Little did I know, little old me didn't know anything about that, but they knew more about football than I did. So with that being said, they were smarter than me when it came down to actually knowing how to, you know, utilize the field and utilize their teams. And also you had to know how to use your team. I was an Eagles fan. Now, only thing I knew about the Eagles was Donovan McNabb, which I knew he could scramble. I didn't really care too much about the receivers. And this is 2003, of course, and Brian Dawkins. I just knew about those two people. You know what I'm saying? I had like basic fundamentals of what I needed to do, but sometimes that wasn't enough when I was playing my cousins because they knew more than I did, so they beat me every time. Now, of course, there'd be times where I get lucky and everything falls my way, but at the same exact time, they were smarter than me. So I always had a harder time playing against them, at least my older cousin. I had a harder time playing against him. We fast forward to now, I'm beating these guys. I'm beating them like a redheaded stepchild at this point. You know what I'm saying? Now, going back to watch that video against D. Croft and Joke, it's, you know, all Joke did was, and I'm not throwing any hate his way, like, I don't, I don't have any malice towards him, but all he did was just sit in dime 146, or he just sat in dime formation. And then when he got on offense, he just sat in either I form tight, weak, I think it's weak tight. I don't know. It's, it's, I know it's weak in our form. He just ran back and forth. In our form, he had literally a lineman at wide receiver. And at one point in time, he had a punter at quarterback. So, man, please help me understand where are you getting this simulation title from? You know, when Rex was in, when Rex was in office, <laughs> he, I, I can see why he said a simulation football game, even though that's, that's far from what we thought. But, hell, going back to that and looking at what we got now, I mean, damn, I mean, he really was trying to make a simulation football game because this ain't it. And, you know, the announcers, I don't want to bash them because they're just trying to do their job. They're trying to commentate on the game. But you've got to relax on trying to call this game, you know, oh, time clock management. He's doing a great job running the ball. It's the same play over and over and over and over and over between two different formations. That's all it is. Putting players in motion, bouncing back for left and right, left and right, flipping the play. I see his, his, um, What's that That little menu in the bottom right hand corner? I see that flickering. He not doing nothing but changing the plays back and forth, back and forth, making his guys dance around all over the field with no fatigue being added. And he wins the game. You know what I'm saying? All because of some cheesy scheme that in his defense works. But in a person who actually plays football, they see that, you know, this is this is kind of corny because you know it's already bad enough that the mechanics are bad now you add a cheesy scheme on top of that now you're pretty much you're pretty much just throwing salt in the wound you know what i mean like this is embarrassing this is why people don't care about man 21 this is why people like this is why people rag on Madden so bad the way that they do and a lot of people like to sit there and say oh you complaining just to complain they're gonna play something else but it's the only football game that's ab that's actually supposed to be representing the nfl so mr goodell roger goodell the commissioner of the nfl let me holler at you real quick. Why are you allowing this to be the representation of the NFL? You should really relinquish that license and make it as it being non-exclusive and let other let other developers get a chance at making a football game because this ain't it. That 
just showcased that game showcased to me what Madden is just so incapable of doing and the fix is there we all know what the fix is fix the gameplay we don't care about the visuals we don't care about anything else we want the game to be fluid we want it fluid we want it to be cohesive we want it to be an actual football game that we can play and enjoy but that was a disgrace to football and the NFL entirely that's all I got to say about that, man. Hope y'all feel the same way as I feel. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, man. Y'all know how I do. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy Jay Devine, and I'm signing out. Peace.